Hey Danielle, for this activity, I don't think I explained it very well before, um, so hopefully this video helps a little bit more. Um, but what we want to do for this part C here, we don't really care about the exact lengths of these like you have there, which you measured them perfectly with GeoGebra. Um, but what we care about is it says here in terms of the trigonometric ratios of A, B, and D, what is the length of BD? So I'm going to draw this triangle out a little bigger so we can see. We have, oops, A, B, C, and then you did your construction perfectly, so this is D here. Now, um, let's remember our trig ratios. I don't know if you use this, but we have so, ka, and toa. So this is sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So let's write that. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. And this means cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and then this is the tangent equals the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so um, we want to say, we're trying to find the length of BD here. Okay, so in terms of trig ratios, um, we know this is a right angle here, which you put in a different part. So we're going to use this angle A here to figure out what BD is just in terms of the ratios, not the actual numbers. And so what we're going to do here, um, if we know, if we're using A, then this sign here is the opposite, this side here is the adjacent, this side here is um, hypotenuse. So now, um, in order to find this, we can use the sign of A because we're going to be using the opposite and we can use the hypotenuse here. So we're going to write BD what that would be in terms of A. So um, that would be the sine of A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And so that would be the opposite which is BD over the hypotenuse which is going to be C because um, to find the names of our side lengths here it's always the letter across from the angle so this side here is across from angle C so this is going to be side C uh, if we went around we know that this length is opposite of angle A so this would be and we use lowercase, side A, and this one's across from B, so this would be side B, okay? So if we're setting up a sine problem, we're going to do the sine of A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is BD, and the hypotenuse is little c. Okay, so now let's just write this a little simple. Sine of A is equal to BD over little c. Now, um, it says we want to find the length of BD. This right here does not tell us the length of BD. We need to solve for BD first, and how we're going to do that is by multiplying both sides by the denominator, which is little c. So now we have little c times the sine of A is equal to BD, and this right here is our answer because we found the length of BD in terms of trig, and so that is little c times the sine of A. Hopefully this is a little helpful. So once we have that, we're actually, let's look at uh, part D together. We want to find the area. So let me draw this out again. And then we got our triangle. A, B, oops. This should be C, B, and D. We have a right angle here. Use the formula to find the area of the triangle, the area of the whole triangle, one half times the base times the height. So let's go around and put our side lengths again. This one's across from angle C, so it's little c. This one's across from A, so it's little a. And this whole length here is across from B, so it's little b. Now the area, one half base times height, the base here is little b, and the height we just found up here, because it's BD, is C times the sine of A. And so now our area is going to be 1 half times little b times the sine of A. Oh, I'm sorry, times C. 
sine a. Let's just look at this one too. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to be using the smaller triangle. You did it perfect. I'm going to draw it big. A, B, C, and D. But now we're looking at this triangle here. So it wants to know in terms of trig ratios with the length of BD. Um, here now, if we're let's start by using um, angle C. We know that this one here is the opposite. We have the adjacent, and we have the hypotenuse. And so let's go ahead and use sine again to find BD. Um, so remember that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, if we do sine of C, that's going to be equal to the opposite, which is BD, over the uh, uh, hypotenuse here, which is little a. And so now the same thing, we want to try to find BD. Right now we need to solve it for BD by multiplying by the denominator, which is A. So we're going to multiply both sides by little a. So we end up getting A times sine C equals BD, just like before.